What's up everybody on YouTube? This is Game Time. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm making a little tutorial type video. Uh, there's a lot of people out there like myself that uh, have been trying to figure this out. And to my knowledge, nobody else has really done a video like this. So I'm kind of putting this out there for the masses. Uh, this is for people that have a VGA monitor that they're going to play their Xbox on, or I guess that PlayStation would probably work too. And um, want to use a high definition cap card like the HD PVR, which I have, to capture video in HD instead of just S video or composite, um, as well as uh, playing in HD on your monitor. Um, I've got this figured out through no help of YouTube or any other tutorials because I haven't found anybody else that does it this way. Um, so I want to share with everybody else. Um, exactly how I did it. It's going to be pretty high level here. I'm not going to get, you know, I'm going to go too deep with it or anything, but let me first show you my setup. Um, there's my, obviously my Astro A40s. Uh, there's my Asus 20-inch uh, monitor. Uh, my mix amp there. Um, there is my Xbox 360 Slim. Then my video converter, which we'll get, get more into here in a few minutes. And there is my PVR. There's my old TV I used to play it on. Goliath there. <laughs> um, so basically what we've done is we've taken, we've gotten this PC to TV adapter. I'll post a link to these. You can get these for about 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, I've got it off eBay. has a VGA pass-through on it. So the VGA cable comes out of the back of your Xbox right here with my finger. And then straight into the end port of it here and just passes through through another VGA cable straight to the back of the monitor. Okay, and then the sound cable comes in there as well. Um, and then it just has a component output right here that goes all the way to the PVR behind the TV. Uh, to the import of the PVR. So it's pretty simple. And uh, once you figure it out, the key to it is you have to set the output resolution on your monitor to 1280 by 1024 and I'll hook up a controller here real quick and show you how to do that for those that may or may not know okay I'm trying to do this with one hand you get your system settings get the asterisk off there I tried to do that to look cool but you can't see um, console settings display and screen resolution in there you can change the monitor settings See, I have it at 1280 by 1024. You have to use that setting on any one of these converter boxes you would buy, whether it's this one or another one, for your PVR to be able to pick it up, or for, I'm sorry, for the box to be able to convert it for the PVR to use it. And then you can record on the PVR in HD. Um, I have a sample video up of that. I'll attach it to this one as well, so you can see the kind of quality that I'm getting. Um, even though I've dropped the quality down a little bit, there really isn't much drop off in quality from the PVR or from doing it in 1080 to uh, to this 1280 by 1024. It's uh, it's still better than 720p. It's still really good output. And you really can't tell the naked eye. I can actually render better video quality on this in Sony Vegas. Um, with the VGA, for whatever reason, it just looks better. I don't really know why, but here it is. I can record. I just say capture right there, and it'll record the video from the Xbox. Um, you know everything. That's that's pretty much it. Um, I can actually edit. I can crop that green line out of there. I'm not really sure why it says that, and the no signal doesn't come up either. Um, but that's pretty much it. VGA out of the Xbox into the adapter. I'll post a link to that in the video out of the adapter right into the monitor and then the output from the box goes straight into the HD PVR so and there you've got HD video so I hope this tutorial was helpful uh, this kind of serves as part two of my setup because this is how I play now as a setup I have got my nice black wired controller there you don't see many of those around and uh, Got the Xbox Slim 250 gig, which is new for my last setup. Um, and then uh, my Astros. I believe I had the Tritons in my other one. Oh, there's my Evo, too. And um, 
that's pretty much it. Any questions, post them up. I'll do my best to respond to everybody. I hope this helps some people. And I am out.